हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोइंग सी प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ इंटीजर्स टू चूज फ्रॉम अ रेंज इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर एरे बैंड एज यू कैन सी दीस आर द नंबर्स व्हिच आर बैंड एंड इंटीजर एन एज यू कैन सी वी आर गिवन एन एंड द कोरिस्पोंडिंग मैक्सिमम आई लाइक यू आर चूजिंग सम नंबर्स ऑफ इंटीजर्स बाय फॉलोइंग द बिलो रूल्स सो यू हैव टू चूज द इंटीजर्स इन द रेंज 1 टू 1 so you have n given so you can choose any number 1 2 3 4 5 any number in the range 1 to n each integer can be chosen at most once so i can choose each integer at most once either i can again maybe i can ignore to choose three at all so that's one thing the chosen integer should not be in the band array which means i cannot choose one i cannot choose six which is not even there in the range i cannot choose five okay the sum of the chosen integers should not exceed the maximum sum whatever integer i choose those sum those sum should be less than equal to my maximum sum that is the limit and ultimately i have to choose maximum number of integers i have to choose out of this remaining range i have to choose maximum number of integers such that their sum is less than equal to maximum sum now if if you look at the example you will simply see that you have chosen two integers now obviously you can choose 4 2 you can choose 2 3 because 4 2 the sum is 6 which is less than equal to 6 2 3 the sum is 5 less than equal to 5 so no matter what you can always choose at max two integers here in this case you had integer from 1 to 8 so i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 is band 2 is band 3 band 4 band 5 band 6 band 7 is also band the only digit i have i am remaining is 8 8 is not less than equal to 1 so i cannot choose any integer at all same way in this case i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and that's it 11 is banned okay no matter what 11, 11 was not even in my range i can choose any integer in this range and i realized okay if i choose all the integers in this range my sum will be 28 so i can choose at max all the integers which is the seven integer which i have so ultimately if you look very basically very naively you will simply realize that you have to get the sum less than this specific value right and you have to choose as many integers as possible so isn't it always 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 good to choose the smallest number okay i'll choose the smallest number 2 now uh, you might say are and why not choose 4 i will say why not choose 4 is because what if my maximum sum would have been 5 right if i would have chosen a 4 in the beginning there is no possibility i can choose any other number but if i am choosing a 2 which is the smallest value i can then try to choose a next larger value 3 now you might say are in what about 4 okay if and if 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 in worst case i am not able to choose 3 there is no possibility i will be able to even choose 4 or any other higher value so if the limit would have been 4 here so if i choose a 2 okay i have chosen a 2 remaining value which i can choose right now should be more should be less than equal to 2 because as you can see if 2, 2 is chosen 2 is chosen this was 4 i can choose anything which is less than equal to 2 to put it here okay i cannot choose 3 if i cannot choose 3 there is no possibility i can choose a even higher value so ultimately we are going in a greedy way because we know one thing for sure that all the integers here are actually sorry, all the integers here are actually positive so we are just adding some numbers and it is a very basic simple fact that if we add some numbers if the numbers are as small as possible it is always it is always it is always like if the numbers are as small as possible as you can see the number 1 is as small as possible i can put number 1 many times to actually put up or to get a number get a target number if i would have put up a, let's say 2 i am achieving lesser number of numbers if i put a number 3 i am achieving lesser number of numbers if i add num put a number 4 again less put number 5 again less so you see as you increase the number actually you are getting the lesser count of numbers in total although this is not the example to just give you an idea like this is the example to give you an idea of the numbers you cannot repeat the numbers here in this example but still 
the idea here is going greedily choose the minimum number so that you can have the count or the number of integers as max as possible and that's the ultimate crux also for this problem that i will firstly put all these uh, values which means all these values again the code uh, link will be down below for the folks in their corresponding language i know that i have to make sure i ultimately remove these band elements also if i go and check in the array it takes o of n time for every element to check so i'll put this in a hash map or a hash set so that my checking is actually fast so i will put my entire band inside my hash set then i will simply iterate on all of my elements from 1 to n and also keep on increasing one by one i will check if this element is banned or not if it is not banned which means i come and reach the end only then i should make sure i will consume that element when I say i'll consume that element i simply mention that i my maximum sum is decreased by that value now why i have put it you can also put one more variable which is called as sum let's say initialize with zero and then you can say that sum plus is equals to i but here in this scenario you will have to always put that sum should be less than equal to max sum this is also how you can do it again it's totally up to you if you want to modify the max sum variable or you want to actually take your own sum variable both have the same time and space complexity no matter what thus ultimately you will get the corresponding count this is by going greedy way now for as you can simply see the time will be because you used an unordered set or a hash set simply written all the elements from 1 to n the time will be o of n itself space as you know that you are using a space where you are putting up all the band elements thus the space will be o of m considering you have m band elements now if the interviewer again although this is the most optimized approach which you can get but if the interviewer asks you to optimize it in terms of space and he doesn't matter if the time increases because if you look back here the corresponding band array has a length of 1e4 and my n is also 1e4 so you can simply say that n and m are roughly same or will be roughly same in average terms but now the interviewer asks you to optimize this but he is referring that it is okay for me that my time increases but make sure to decrease the space also although 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 this is never the case although this is never the case that the person always says to optimize time but again and why i told this as the first approach or as the first approach to begin with because this is the most intuitive approach the next approach which, which, which i'm going to tell is the extra approach although this is not, not non-intuitive you can say the not most optimal approach but still interview can or might ask you what you can do in that scenario you know okay he is trying to optimize the time but he is leveraging okay the space sorry he's trying to optimize the space but it is he's leveraging that the time can actually be increased in that case you simply see that what you're doing logic will still remain same you were simply going and checking okay two firstly you went on to one you checked if one is there or not in your hash set oh this space actually came up because you were using a hash set what if i did not allow to use you a hash set then how will you be able to get okay is one there in my band array or not is two there my band array or not is a three there in my band or not if you go by the normal way check one the entire array it will take off n time because this is not sorted oh this is not sorted, which means that one thing I can do is, oh, I will take one and I will check in my band array. I, it is nothing but searching. To search something in your entire array, to make things fast, you simply sort it so that you can apply a binary search here. So what you will simply do, okay, to optimize it, what I can do is I can simply sort this so that my searching of the element, which I was doing right here, the searching of the element actually becomes in the login time now he said okay i don't want to buy search think of something else now again we know that we are simply iterating on this input range one two three four five six yeah or, or okay only up to five and then i also have this input range band now okay you mentioned that you have to sort it but now he's saying okay uh you cannot do binary search then what simply see you were checking if one is there 
okay i will check i will simply it is also a trade on this band array okay my j pointer will be here my i pointer will be here and i will simply iterate it iterate on it okay my i is right now one oh my j which is actually index zero of the band array the value is one oh okay in that case i will simply say that it is same which means it is band then i will move my j i will move my sorry i will move my i but i also i will move my j but to move your j it is good that you will have to sort it which why sort it because obviously if it is not sorted my six came first so as you are iterating in your numbers from one to five it will say six never came first because it is trying to look for this value six six as soon as six will come i will ban it and skip it but here he will keep on waiting for five so you should always make sure to wait for a smaller number because you are iterating on from the small to large values so i'll simply check okay two is banned no two, like my two is not banned so simply take this as a sum so my sum becomes two and still it is less than equals to my target which is uh which is six okay simply keep on three uh three is banned no three is not banned again index of j is one band of one is five and the value of i is 3 so you are comparing i with the band of j right 3 okay i can add a 3 and then still it will be less than my uh, 6 okay i will simply add the 3 and then move my i can i add a 4 no i cannot add a 4 okay simply move can i add a 5 but before even adding can i add a 5 just check okay oh it is same simply skip it go on next oh i have reached the end so the answer is maximum sum achievable which is less than equal to my target sum is five, but I am concerned about the count. So I'll also maintain a count variable here, right? So this is the corresponding code again. You can solve it by binary search. You can solve it by simple two pointers also, but I showed you the two pointers approach because obviously this is much more easy and much more, again, both have the same time complexity, even if you go about the binary search or two pointers, but it is again, totally up to what the interviewer wants. This even this two pointers or this binary search which which both i told both are not intuitive intuitive is actually this one which i told you so okay if i'll just show you the code corresponding code you will simply firstly sort it and then you will have these variables okay i j again i is you iterate from one to n one to n j is the actual pointer for the band array and then count and then the corresponding sum again as i told you that you can have a sum variable also so you simply went on up till your i reaches end then you simply have a check that you should be in the bound of j to actually compare the band array then you actually iterate it and check okay band of j is if it is equal to i then simply skip but you might say you have to skip i also right yeah i i'll also skip at every step no matter if i don't take it or if i take it if i take it which means i will increase my sum i will increase my count and i take it no matter if I don't if I don't take it, I'll have to still skip it. So in that case, I'll simply increase my i and get the count. Now you might say, I think this will pass. Uh, technically, this should have passed. But if you take any example where the elements are repeating, this was never mentioned in the input array or the input question that the elements will never repeat. Band array could have repeating elements also. This never mentioned that it will never repeat. So this is a corresponding edge case which you should have considered that you have to make sure because see in this example what will happen is if I take the same example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I say the band elements are 1, 2, 2 and 6 right so when you were at one you skipped one okay you went at two you skipped two but then you iterated and put up here because now you are at three you compare it with two. Oh, you will take it ah it is are is it okay to take it right yeah it is okay but what if like i am just referring what if you have multiple other elements in the line okay you can take three you can take four, you can take five, you can take six. If you take three, okay, let's let's say if you take simple three, I if I have, let's say this as three and uh, okay, don't take it. Let's say you have two here and then three here and then six here. So you actually, when you skip the two, you skip this specific two, you came here. Now three is here, which means, okay, you are now trying to 
get your i pointer as 3 and your j is pointing at still 2 which is actually not good right because 2 you have already skipped so make sure that when you are when you are iterating on your band you simply iterate on all the occurrences of that specific value so i simply iterate on all the occurrences and then i reached here j now i can simply compare this specific j and thus i will not take it if i would have simply done this which means it is only iterated one time i would have reached here i would have compared these two i would have taken it because it is not equal to my band of j but i will simply keep on trading which means i will simply have to replace this with a corresponding while loop but while else don't work so simply make sure just copy this line and put it while and then this line and then simply increase your j so what it was i just simply copied that line and put up here exact same line and then simply added a while loop and increase my j itself and ultimately getting the answer again the time here because you sorted the band array will be o of m log m iterated on your nums of i plus n again you can say plus m also but obviously uh, i am iterating on my n itself and j is simply bounded by it so okay it doesn't matter although i i, I should simply add as plus m also but the space here because you're simply sorting it for uh, java and c++ it will be log m because sorting itself takes internal space people don't people don't do it but it's actually the true actually the fact and there's no extra space at all for any other thing because there is no hash set or anything of like any, anything of that sort so space will be o of log m and that's your responding answer again i'll say that this is not the intuitive neither the optimal approach this is the intuitive and the optimal approach those are told it this way cool bye bye take care i hope you guys got it bye bye take care again uh there's a chance i am not opening the videos and stuff because somehow things are not going well i somehow get sick somehow like again maybe the weather is changing something but yeah uh the video should not stop bye bye take care